Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, we are going to briefly see Llama model and Alpaca model. And we are going to also see how we can use it on our own local systems and by using some libraries. So we are going to demonstrate that, but let's just go uh, how the Llama model and Alpaca model works together. And then we are going to move forward towards the installation of the models and the utilization of a model, right? So Llama model is just a foundational model as, as per the Facebook model. So Llama model is developed by Facebook and it is a foundational model in NLP domain. So this is what they claim actually. And the Llama model is actually a sequence to sequence model. That means given an input, it will generate a continuation of outputs. So if you give us some, some text, so it will continue and develop more and more, more and more text out of that particular given input. So that's the beauty of LAM model and it has been trained on various parameters. So if you go into the paper of the LAM model, they have demonstrated that there are various type of LAM models are available. So they have like 7 billion parameter model, 13 billion, 33 billion and 65 billion parameter model. And they have also showcased that it is able to beat on the larger models that are available with higher parameters. So if you see the GPT-3 is 175 billion parameter model and LA model is able to beat that, not even beat that, but also is it is performing better on different tasks. So if you compare this particular chart, you can you can definitely see that the 7, 7 billion parameter LA model is able to beat GPT-3 on a uh, bull question answering uh, parameter, right? And even this particular model is able to beat on the all other parameters that the model has been trained and, and checked on it, right? And it is also able to beat the PAM model, uh, which is which is a model developed by google uh, it's it's not a beating but it's a it's a competitive performance that it is able to give by just small parameters so if you see uh, it's a 62 billion parameter model and there are uh, 7 billion and 13 billion parameter model and they are providing comp uh, competitive uh, performance compared to the power model which is uh, quite computationally extensive and the good good part of this LAM model is you can run it on your own local system because they have less uh, billion of parameters. So the, the best thing of LAM model is it is a sequence to sequence model and it is able to perform better than other uh, available uh, model which are in high parameters and it is able to provide a competitive performance compared to the other models available. So if you also see a GPT-3 model which is highly uh, parameterized model which is 175 billion parameter model so it is also not able to perform that good on some various tasks but this law model with 7 billion parameters it is able to perform that great in in those parameters so this is the beauty of the law model and we can utilize it on our own local systems now let's just jump to the alpaca model which is an extension of this law model so Stanford people, what they did is they created a, they created a alpaca model uh, and they used LAM model 7 billion parameter model and they fine tuned that LAM model on the data set that they were using. So what they did was uh, they took 7 billion parameter LAM model and they fine tuned it on the, on the instruction data set that they created by the GPT-3. And by this, they are able to claim that alpaca behaves qualitatively similar to open AIs text da Vinci model which is a GPT-3 version model and it is being able to perform better than the current uh, model available with at less billion of parameters of uh, model and also at a cheaper cost. So this is the selling point of this particular model that it is also open source and it can also be used as a fine tuning part to train our own uh, chat GPT kind of models. So let us look into this alpaca model and how did they train this particular uh, alpaca model by using lama model. So if you go down into this particular article, they explain it very beautifully. Uh, so what they did was they took self-instruct C data set and this is the example of self-instruct C data set. So it had 175 uh, human created data set uh, which has uh, some instructions and the output related to that particular instruction. So if you go into this, uh, this image you can see that it's example of C task data set where the instructions are given and the outputs are given and they pass these instructions uh, or this data set to the uh, GPT-3 model which is text Da Vinci model and with some prompt they are able to generate more data set 
or more instruct self instruct data set from this particular uh, gpt3 model and that's how they create 52k uh, that is 52000 uh, instruction examples by using this 175 human annotated examples and that's how the examples got generated by using gpt3 and then they pass this model uh, and they pass this particular data set to this particular lava model of 7 billion parameters and they supervised this training and then they got a fine-tuned alpaca model which is of 7 billion parameters so if you see this is nothing but you can able to train a model similar to the chat gpt so lama model doesn't have the capability of getting an instructions and giving an output because of the instructions right whatever the instruction you pass in it won't be able to give if you used if you use lama model uh, by raw like whatever the models pretty available are there if you use it directly you cannot use it as a chat gpt model but by this instructions of training you can now utilize the alpaca model for your own uh, creation of your chat gpt kind of model so now you can give an instruction to lava model or alpaca model and then you can get an answer related to the instructions that you gave so this is the way that you can use lava model and fine tune that lava model to become a chat chatbot for your particular use case and it can behave similar to the open chat gpt so that's the beauty of this particular uh, instructions based training out of lava model and using a gpt3 to generate more instructions and then fine tuning it to get a uh, alpaca model which is capable enough to understand the instructions given by a user and give the relative answer to the instructions that's the beauty of this particular approach and there are various things that they they have given like if you see this particular example like what is an alpaca and how it is different from a llama so this is the input they are giving to the alpaca and this is the answer that is able to reply back to the user there are some limitations that are available uh they have also showcased the limitations also so if you see they have passed an uh query like what is the capital of tanzania and the model is able to return dar es Salaam, right but it is not the not the latest capital of tanzania the latest capital of tanzania is dodoma so you can see that that model is not able to get the uh, the right answers as of now but it can be fine to get you to the right answer if you start fine tuning it on the later latest data set right so that's the beauty of this particular approach and i think if you are looking forward of developing a open source chat gpt kind of model for your own use cases or for your own business use cases you can just take a look into this kind of approaches and start working in that direction and train your own alpaca model and then start using that model to instruct and get an answer for your own use cases right now open chat gpt is available but it cannot be fine-tuned on that your data set these open source uh, models and approaches can help you to make a better uh, uh, user interface models which are capable enough to give an instruction and get an answer for you so that's the beauty of this open source models and the approach that they are using is quite amazing and since they are using a uh, gpt3 based model and to generate the self-instruct data set out of the given data set that's amazing use case of a, a gpt3 model and and that's how you can train a, a model out of your uh, the data set, data set that you have so if you want to train a model uh, by using this approach just let me know in the comment i will try to make a video on it like how you can fine tune this alpaca model by creating your own data set so now let's jump into the uh, installation part and how we can use this particular uh, alpaca model in our own local system so to use alpaca model in your own local systems there is a library called Dali. so the people have created an open source library called Dali. and now if you go into this uh, github so there are a lot of model available of different parameters so if you if you go into this particular Dali uh, github you can see that there are various models are available like 7 billion parameter 13 billion parameter and 13 30 billion parameter models are available for uh, alpaca and even uh, llama model and you can utilize this particular github report to, to install the uh, this models and start working with the user interface so once you install this particular uh, Dali, you can see some some interface something like this and then you can start utilizing this particular model for your own use case and generate some uh, output by giving or instructing this particular model like how you do it using open chat gpt right so we're going to use this uh, by using Dali. Uh, github repo 
so there are different instructions uh, for given for, for different uh, users like if you are linux user or if you are mac user and if you are window user there are different instructions are followed over uh, over this particular report to install this and the model that are available is is of uh, 31 gb and even if the quantized model is available it is of 4.21 gb so it depends upon your uh, use case and even the stories that are available so if you're looking into a low model solution there are various versions if you can also install the quantized version of it which is much smaller than the larger version of a model and then uh, there are 13 billion parameters which is of 60 gb model if you if you just stall it directly a raw model but if you stall the uh, quantized model it will be a 88 gb model similarly there are various versions of the model and then uh, these are the quick start step where you can install the model or you can install the dependencies that are required to use this particular uh, Delay library to uh, install your uh, LAO model and Alpaca model, right? So right now today we are going to use Windows uh, as a framework or as an OS to to install this particular uh, Delay. So for this you have to install uh, Python development environment and Node.js development environment by using VS Code or also what you can do is if you already have an anaconda uh, prompt available in your own system and if, if you have already installed visual, visual visual code studio on your own laptop so to install this particular uh, model uh, what you can do is you can just uh, install node.js directly from from the site or you can also follow some links here available to install a node.js so if you click on this node.js it's going to lead you to some site of node.js to download it and you can choose your own os and you can install it on your own local system so once this node.js is installed what you can do is you can just move to the uh, installation part by using the command that are available so if if you have if you go down you can see that uh, the command available is npx delay alpaca install 7 billion so if you're trying to install the alpaca model directly of 7 billion you can just copy this and then you can go into anaconda prompt and then you can just uh, copy and paste this particular command here and just run this particular cell so what it's going to do is it's going to just install this alpaca model in your own local system and if you also wish to install llama model you can also do that by by using this this command right you can just, just copy and paste it so it's going to take few few minutes to download it so if i just click on it it's going to take few seconds or I, I should say 15 to 30 minutes actually to download the alpaca model but since it is already available in my own local system so it will not download it and uh, and it has it will say that it is already available so once uh, it start downloading it will take around 15 to 30 minutes to download that particular model and then once it got downloaded you can you can just go into the anaconda prompt and then you can just uh, follow up the command that are available here if you go up you, you can see that uh, there's a command available to use uh, the model that is available that is npx dali serve so this is the command that you can use it to open a dali uh, interface and you can start utilizing the model that you have downloaded so now what it will do is it will just open the uh, interface or dali interface and now it is located in this local host uh, uh, link so i will just copy and paste it here and then you can see the the application is running at the back end and it is able to run very very quickly on my own which doesn't have that uh, enough capacity to run any kind of model right but it is able to run this uh, uh, delay interface and you can see on the right hand side it is running alpaca model sand billion model you can also download lama model and you can select this from uh, drop down here but right now i'm using alpaca model seven billion parameter model to use it as an uh, in instructive model right like chat gpt so now let's let's uh, give an uh, instruction to give me an output back right so i'm going to write a, a, a query to get an output back so let me just put it up like this uh, please help me to write a formal mail to a company for my health insurance policy consultation right so let's run this and let's see how the output comes into a play uh, by this particular alpaca model and you know this this particular model has not been trained on this but uh, let's just see how it performs on this particular uh, uh, on this particular query that it is able to create for us it might take few seconds to get it there 
get it done uh, so let us wait okay so the model has given me the output for the queries that i have given so it took me a lot of time to generate this maybe based out of the computation power that is available but i can clearly see that the first sentence is good for the particular starting of any, any of the uh, mail but if you go further down it is able to automatically hallucinate the things out so you can see it is uh, started saying that i am currently 25 years of old in the city state province with no dependents so clearly i didn't specify any of my information about my age but model has hallucinated and automatically uh, started to uh, understand or i don't know uh, it is able to just hallucinate the things out like the person might be 25 years of old but it is it is not the correct one to be uh, to be to be a, to be a correct output given right so and it is also able to hallucinate more of the things about a particular 25 year old person which is i have been working full time since graduating from university and would like to purchase individual health policy for myself so these are these are hallucination that is working uh, by while using these kind of uh, generative models and they also have uh, mention this kind of kind of limitations in their in this particular blog so if you read out this particular blog they have also mentioned this kind of hallucination that can happen and that is that is the problem that is available right now but it can be rectified when you start to train a model on your own data set and then uh, you can just have more and more uh, policies or more and more instructing data set uh, that is more capable of understanding and less of hallucinating the things out right so we can we can fine tune it more but that's a that's a thing that the model is currently doing and while uh, while in this particular generative model space we have to be very very aware of the things like it shouldn't hallucinate much and more and do not uh, give an output which is which is not required as an output to be given and it can be it can be very sensitive output also so that is the thing we have to look into forward while training these kind of generative models and you can also see it is able to give me a good Uh, reply uh, or or answer back to any kind of uh, mail, and that's the thing I wanted to put it out for this kind of generative models and how you can use this part of Alpaca model in your own like laptop or in your own systems, and then you can start utilizing it for your own purposes. So this is a development that is working on, and it is a ongoing process. And maybe in future we can be able to see a lot of models that can be open sourced, and then we can fine tune it on your on your own uh, data set and then we can start utilizing it so this is all about this particular video hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial if you like this particular video please do like the channel and also this particular video thank you